Hello guys, Rod here again. Um, today, as usual, I'm going to share a very simple script on how to make your mission way more immersive. Today, the topic will be having enemy artillery firing at location. So, uh, let's hop into the 2D editor. So, as usual, uh, place your unit. So, for the sake of demonstration, I'm going to disable the stamina and damage so that I can run around and demonstrate where the artillery landed the shells are landed all right so i'm gonna place a few units assuming that we are attacking this bunker and uh, these are the three defenders so uh, we have an artillery guy a mortar guy down here so as usual you have to name so in this case i name is gun one you can name it whatever you want so uh, and make sure that the gunner is named as well so by default it will be named as if you name it as gun one then it will be gun one g gun two it will be gun two g by default so next the trigger so in order for the artillery to be firing at us uh, we must be detected by the enemy i mean so the type will be none activation will be us blue four or you can put player but normally i prefer blue four so activation type will be detected by op four so in in order for me to know that the, the script is fired sorry the trigger is fired i will put a hint silent you are detected there you go you are detected so the script is fairly simple for the artillery to be firing at us so it'll be spawn while alive gun 1g Two, sleep five. I'll complete the script, then I will explain what does the script means. Using ammo, the amount will be one. This bracket. Sorry. All right. So let me explain the script real quick. So once we've been detected by the enemy, so uh, hint will be fired. You are detected, and this simple script will be uh, running. So it will spawn the script while. The alive gun 1G means while the gun of the motor is still alive uh, do sleep every 5 seconds uh, it will select this ammo so ammo get up to the ammo gun 1 so if you have gun 2 then you just name it as gun 2 gun 3 etc all right so select 0 means that from the uh, motor the ammo type you will select ammo 0 normally for motor uh, 0 will be the HE round one will be smoke, not mistaken. Three will be illumination round. Okay, I'm not sure about it, but I. But never mind. Uh, for the sake of this demonstration, we are using HE round will be zero. So target will be out. Will be us, or you can name it anyone if you, on specific, you want someone else to be the target. You can name it. So maybe I put car one, right? So but in this case, it's us player. So next we have the gun to be firing at us. So gun one, motor one, uh, do artillery fire, do artillery fire. Sorry, uh, target will be our location. Uh, they will select ammo one. Sorry, uh, they will select ammo zero, and they will fire one round each. So uh, this actually you can change it, uh, which whatever amount you wish. Maybe you can put five, two, three, but. For realistic sake, I will put it one so they will try to fire one round each and see how's the how, how does the round goes. 
So let's press OK and let me check. Am I? Yep. Disable damage, disable stamina, and let's test the strip. Let's get this guy's attention. Okay, there you go. You are detected. There you go. Do you hear that, Tom? The first round has been fired by the uh, artillery, the mortar. The second round. Third round. Fourth round. Okay, let's move a bit. Show you that the, it does really uh, actually target our last known location. Let's speed up. So you can see that uh, it did target our last known location over there. So assume that I did not move. Okay, I was I was really pinned down. I got pinned down. I fired, so I didn't move. Eventually, the artillery will hit you. Getting closer and closer. Alright. Okay. In the end, the actual, uh, the, uh, the shell will land pretty on, much on top of you. So the only way to silence this is uh, to go there and kill him. So if you remember the script that uh, it mentioned that while alive, you can 1G, that means that the, uh, the mortar will keep on firing uh, while the uh, gun is still alive. So the gun is dead, so the mortar will not be firing again. Alright. Okay, I'm gonna share something a bit extra. So. Just now you saw that the round, sorry, the shell landed right on top of us. So if you want to make it kind of randomish, so the only parameter you should change is under target. So target, so you change it to player get relative position. The first will be the uh, distance, so the distance will be 100 meters. The second will be direction, so zero. Zero means uh, 12 o'clock. So you can put it at maybe 90. Up to you, but normally I put zero. <laughs> Next is um, five second is kind of too fast for them to be firing at us. Normally you can tweak the parameter to maybe 15 second. All right, so let's demonstrate it. Again, let's get this guy's attention. Okay, there we go. Oh, they are really pissed. Speed up. Time. Okay, 15 seconds passed, the first artillery fight. And landed pretty far in front of us, 100 meters in front of us. How about the second one? Third one. Fourth. There you go. So it's a simple demonstration of how to get enemy actually firing at you. So you can you can decide either it will be land kind of randomish 100 meters in front of you or landed on top of you directly. So I think that's about it for today. I hope you like this video. Um, please like and subscribe. I hope I see you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.